I tried 14 jeans within the last year from December 2020 to November 2021. All of them were under $80 and today I'm going to share with you the most annoying ones and the most comfortable ones that look the best with boots. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. If this is your first time seeing me, this channel is devoted to folk music and cowboy boots. And over the past year, I've uploaded more than 230 videos with jeans videos, cowboy boot reviews, how-to videos, informational videos, music videos, giveaways, and so much more. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, subscribe right now if you haven't already because I'm just getting started. One of the standout video types from 2020 were my jeans with boots video, which I didn't expect, but I still continued them this year, and I wanted to try something a little bit different and do a ranking video for the jeans with boots that I tried over the past year. This is my first jeans ranking video, so if there's a metric or quality that I don't cover in this one that you'd like to see in the future, please let me know so I can continue to make my content better and more valuable for you. And throughout this video, you can learn more about each gene. I've linked up the entire video where I covered them at the links in the description. So with that, let's get into ranking these from worst to first and start with number 14. Coming in at number 14 is the Old Navy Rigid Bootcut Jean. Now this is kind of a sad excuse for a bootcut jean. It's got thin denim, which does a poor job covering the boots. Even when these are on sale, it's still not worth it, guys. These are the last jeans that I would choose to wear out of all of the ones that I tried in the past year. Coming in at number 13 is the Cody James Bozeman bootcut jean. Now this jean has a decent quality denim, but the bootcut is almost like a bell bottom. It's way too wide of a leg opening, and it makes me look like I belong on a TV show from the 70s with some boots. It's definitely a preference, but it's not my preference. So that's why these land at number 13. Coming in at number 12 is the George bootcut jeans that you can get for $15 at Walmart. <laughs> I was surprised at how well these worked with boots. Uh, the boot cut is not too wide and they only cost $15 or so, but the fabric is so thin, guys. I never wear these out when I have to be in public for long periods of time because they feel like they'll rip even when they're new. But like I said in the video for these, what do you want for $15? Coming in at number 11 is the Cinch White Label Relax Fit Jean. These cinch white label jeans are so relaxed in their fit, they feel like sweatpants and kind of look like them too. This would work well for some body types, but it doesn't work the best for me and I'm not really sure why they cost $80 when they kind of feel like Wrangler retro jeans, which are $20 cheaper and look pretty much the same. So I think that these are a little bit overpriced for what they are. Still, they were really comfortable. They felt like sweatpants, seriously. Coming in at number 10 is Carhartt. When I first started wearing boots after high school, all I would wear them with were relaxed fit Carhartt jeans. I did it all the time. And this was a much better relaxed fit on me than the cinch. And I love how soft and durable Carhartts can be, especially for the price. They don't go with all of my boots, but I definitely enjoy wearing them with the more Western work boot type. Coming in at number nine is the Levi's 505 jean. I'm working my way through all the Levi's to see how well they go with boots. And the 505 is an average option that looks good, but it's nothing to really write home about. I have no complaints but I'm not really wowed out of my mind either since their leg opening is just a little bit more narrow than some other straight leg jeans out there. Coming in at number eight is the Levi's 501. The Levi's 501 only works with about half my boot styles, uh, but the ones that they work with, they really work with. I love wearing these jeans with my J-toe boots, my R-toe boots, snip-toe boots, and seven-toe boots. 
It's such a classic look that I love to rock with certain boot styles. I was actually surprised that I liked these jeans so much with boots. Coming in at number seven is the Lee Legendary Straight Leg Jean. Now, I've never been a big fan of Lee. They are owned by the same company as Wrangler, so I always saw them as a lower level option from Wrangler, which made me a little hard on them at first, especially since they chose to name their jeans Legendary. But the more I wore these, the more that I came to like them. They aren't like the Lee jeans that I remember trying in the past, and they went with all types of boot styles. Do I think they're legendary? Hell no. But I do think that they're a good option for a mid-level jean that you're looking to wear with many different boot styles. Coming in at number six is the Texas Jeans Regular Fit. Yes, made in the USA. Texas jeans are the only US made option in this list and they're made in the US using US cotton. They're extremely affordable considering all that as well. The regular fit Texas jeans here remind me a little bit of the fit of the Wrangler 13 MWZ but sometimes ride up a little bit high and pinch my man parts. But for the money this is an incredible US made option. Speaking of the Wrangler 13 MWZ, coming in at number five is the Wrangler 13 MWZ. This is the most classic jean to wear with boots. This is it. And I love how they made and they work with every type of boot that you can imagine. They're high quality and time tested, but again, because of my body type, they ride up really high and pinch my man parts. They're good for working on my feet all day, but if I have to go from sitting to standing a lot, I definitely notice. Coming in at number four is the Levi's 517. This is one of their boot cut models, and I really like how these look and feel. They're a touch higher rise than the 527, which I looked at a couple of years ago, and they have less of a wide boot opening, so it's like a perfect in-between. This is the best boot cut style jean that I tried this year, by far. Coming in at number three is the Wrangler Retro Slim Straight Jean. The Wrangler Retro line is so awesome. It's probably my favorite line from Wrangler, and it's a great option for more versatile situations that I criticize the 13 MWZ for. I think these are more comfortable than the cinch jeans. They're not a relaxed fit, although Wrangler Retro does have a relaxed fit, and I think they are appropriately priced for what you get. These are some of Wrangler's best modern jeans. Definitely check out Wrangler Retro if you're looking for some jeans to go with your boots. It's a great option for sure. Coming in at number two is another one from Texas Jeans. This is their Slim Cowboy Cut. After trying the regular fit Texas jeans, I had to try the cowboy cut, and these were perfect for me. A little bit lower rise waist, so I didn't get as much pinching, and a slightly wider leg opening, which makes it better for boots overall. Plus, it's made in the US with US cotton. And considering all that, it's an amazing price, between 30 and $40 of 100% cotton. So if you're looking to support more US brands on a budget, start with Texas Jeans. Love it. And coming in at number one, it's the Ariat M7 Rocker Stackable Straight Leg Jean. Say what you want about Ariat, but this M7 Jean was by far my favorite this year. They feel great on my waist. They have just the right amount of stretch without feeling flimsy. They have a great leg opening for all types of boots and they look incredible. They also got the most comments in other videos. So when somebody was asking about what jeans I was wearing in a boot review video, it was usually these Area M7 jeans. So you guys liked them the best too. All right, now it's time for you to give me your take on these rankings. Let me know down in the comments, and while you're down there, let me know what other jean brands you want me to look at in 2022. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys around. Peace, have a good one. This past year I tried lots of jeans from $80 down to 15. Some fit too loose, but some fit like a dream. Here's to next year and more jeans. Yeah.
don't you check out my ranking video for boots up here. 21 this year. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Have a good one.